here's MGTOW acceptable in the workplace. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, one of the problems you've got is feminism's allowed in the workplace. You'll get people come up and go, I am a feminist. And I've, I've come across that in social housing multiple times. As if I needed to know that they were a feminist in the first place because there had no relevance on the word whatsoever. Um, but I do think that with MGTOW, the difference is you're more likely to get people go, are oh, you sexist then? Pure defense mechanism. When in fact, it's nothing to do with sexism. It's about separating yourself and just saying, you in, I'm not interested, and moving away. Where feminism is often very aggressive in your face. Um, I find MGTOW is actually the opposite. It's actually just trying not to engage with people that quite simply, you're not gonna have a relationship with, you're not trying to get involved in their politics, you're trying to disconnect yourself from them. Um, but at the same time, they, I know some employers would have an issue with it. And that sort of shows sexism. <laughs> sexism in the workplace. It'd be interesting to see the first cases go through with the court cases that they ever did uh, relating to how people were treated because they were mixed out. Um, because at the end of the day, it's not, it's like going in there and saying you're a monk in the relevance to what it would have in work. Because at the end of the day, the ideology is not confrontational. The ideology is not driven by trying to change other people or force people to do X, Y, Z. It's a choice. Um, and I do find it rather peculiar, but I can understand it. Because I, a lot of people don't understand MGTOW. They will assume it's an anti-woman movement because that's what feminists, or some feminists, are pushing it as. When in reality it is, it's simply... I don't want to engage with you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Um, and that's what's peculiar. And I do think a lot more needs to be done to promote, promote MGTOW in the sense of what it is. I'm not saying people should be out there proactively trying to convert people into being men that go their own way. But there is a lot more people could do to say that men go their own way means that X, Y, Z. This is why I do these videos, even though I'm not MGTOW myself. I understand it and I can understand why somebody would go MGTOW. Myself, I would have gone MGTOW if I had met my wife. Um, how can I say that? Well, I'd come out of an 11-year relationship before I met my wife. I met my wife rather randomly. Um, I wasn't really, well, I wasn't looking for a relationship at the time. I was moving into Birmingham City, getting a nice apartment, buying a Porsche, chilling out as quite simply to come out of a relationship and financially I was in a much better position after I got rid of my partner, my ex-partner. So the point being is I was quite happy on my own and I was looking forward to that but then I met my wife and been much happier as well. <laughs> yeah, um, the point being is that life, you know, things do change. But I do think in the workplace you've got to be aware that sometimes your employers may not get it because they'll just get always oh, part of an anti-woman's movement because in their head they that's all they've got they haven't thought about it they haven't researched it that's what somebody told them probably a feminist that's offended your MGTOW and at no point did they bother going researching what MGTOW meant they'll just go and say I was offended by this guy um, he says he's MGTOW which is an anti-woman movement blah 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 very peculiar, but it's not the first time I've come across that sort of stuff, where people have been accused of something, which is not what they had done at all. It's because of something else. I mean, I know I've been in an environment where some people, uh, where a woman's asked a guy to go go out with them, the guy's rejected them, and at the same time she's then tried to file for sexual harassment at work. Yeah, it was the guy that actually said, I'm not interested. And all the text messages and everything else that come up in the meetings actually showed she'd been chasing him for some time. And at that point, sort of the beans spilled. But it didn't stop him getting uh, suspended for a period of time. And made to look like he was some sort of predator at work. Yet yeah, he'd done absolutely nothing wrong. He was just not interested. Um, but... I could understand why he would go his own way after that. Um, but the reality is, I do think there is more information we can put out there. There is more we can do to develop MGTOW. 
Um, one of the things I do recommend as well is some of the stuff that assists other people for their their path. And I say their path because it is men going their own way. It's a single thing for an individual. But there is a lot of things that can be pushed in the right direction. Vention showing what he does, I'm sure, helps other people understand sustainability, uh, some of the crypto investment stuff and other things because he's showing how he does on a daily basis. In the same way, there is many other things. Like I mean, I discuss topics a lot. Um, but there, I'm sure there's more people out there that have other stuff to offer as well. The whole point is we're not we're not trying to um, form a grouped movement, but more a case of sharing information and letting people make their own decisions. Thanks for watching.